How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Mnix Plays Path of Exile War for the Atlas. We are currently in Act 6. Going pretty well. Um, someone on YouTube left a comment and said, Mnix, you should really consider picking up the weapon Nictus Lantern. It'll help you a lot. I took a look at the unique item and I looked at it and I'm like, plus 2 to socketed fire gems, level 10 penetration. Added fire damage, uh, some spell damage, some elemental. Sign me up, right? Um, so I picked up the Nictus Lantern. Been set free by KIC. Only momentarily. Um, and uh, it's looking pretty good. I think my damage is looking pretty good. I have 4,000 DPS on Volatile Dead. 714 average damage on Cremation. Let's go through the prison and see how we do. So just based on sort of the amount of playing I've done um, the last few days, it, it feels like we're still at a good um, power curve, I suppose you can, you can call it. Um, I, I don't feel too weak. I still feel relatively tanky and... Uh, you know, we still have enough time that we can focus on the key parts of our build. Uh, whereas, you know, later on in the game, you might be stuck just taking 5%, 6% HP, um, you know, every level and not getting significant improvements to your character. Because, you know, at that point, you should already have all the major things completed. But, but we're still at a point where it's like, you know, we can still pick up really important keystones that can help our build. Uh, so every level we should be feeling, you know, very big differences um, in our character. So, for example, last level we picked up Mind Over Matter, which is a huge, you know, buff to our character as long as we can sustain the mana. It is going to be a little bit of an issue since we only have, what what is that, 270 unreserved mana. <coughs> Excuse me. So it, is, it really isn't much, but at the same time, you know, there's a lot of good mana nodes coming up in the next two to three levels uh we got it was like 10 percent, 10 percent, and then flat 10 percent, 10 percent, flat 40 with 30 percent, right so there's a lot of mana coming up um so that's what i mean by you know the next few nodes are still going to be really important really substantial it won't just be like small upgrades which is uh super good so my volatile dead is still doing a whole lot of damage. Um, it would be nice if I could get a 5 link somehow. I would say the 5 link would probably be for cremation, but maybe I would be wrong. Um, the thing is, I kind of wanted cremation on Nick this Lantern, but I figure since, you know, the majority of time we're just trying to clear mobs, might as well use Nick this Lantern to boost our Volatile Dead instead. The thing is, added damage... Uh, I feel like cremation is kind of a unique spell in the sense that added damage has like quite a bit of effectiveness. 80% is like really good for something that shoots out so many projectiles, you know? Um, so I thought that maybe added damage would do better on cremation. Um, but at the same time, we don't use cremation as often as volatile dead. Um, simply because cremation is simply used for single target against bosses and map bosses and so on, or maybe even rares. Uh, so I only care about it in those situations. I added slower projectiles to cremation so that it doesn't have as big of a splash radius. But I feel like this will allow it to do a lot more damage. I'm not sure. We're going to have to see. <clears throat> But yeah, other than that, I mean, right now we're still extremely overleveled. So I think if we actually ran into issues clearing right now, uh, we should be worried. Um, I am extremely overleveled and extremely overgeared. And I mean, we did that on purpose, right? Like we took our time, kind of slow played it um, instead of rushing through the areas. And that's that's just a consequence of me not having... I guess enough time to record so instead of progressing I just kind of grind the same areas over and over for no reason um, 
But now that we're recording, maybe we can get some progression done today. I am no beast of burden. But you can kind of tell, you know, our skills, they aren't destroying packs in one wave anymore. Which is a little disappointing. But still, the damage is enough where, like, I have nothing to complain about. Alright, so I leveled up, so I'm going to take the 10% mana for sure. That's going to bring us up to 311 on reserve mana. That's pretty good. And already, like, we just cleared the pack. We're getting EXP so fast. We just leveled up, and now we're at 15% again. That's insane. Now, I know the exit is over here. Oh, no, it's not. No, that's just the previous zone. If they don't all get hit by Volatile Dead, a lot are still alive. It's crazy. Am I using Concentrated Effect or something? I'm not. Come to me, exile. Let us... mm, I don't mind doing this Katarina quest, I think. Maybe I should be using Shield Charge more now that I switched over to a Scepter. I attached Fortification or Fortify to my Shield Charge. So hopefully we'll be a little bit more defensive. <clears throat> or we can, you know, be a little bit tankier when we add on Fortify. It's Fortify, Increased Duration, Shield Charge along with Faster Attacks. I think that's a good setup. Hmm. Life. What is this? Life. Fire resistance. Basically, we just get 3% extra fire resistance and we lose life. That's not worth it. This isn't good either. Nope. 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 8 to 9 fire damage to spells. 34... To life, more damage to spells while dual wielding. Unfortunately, we're not dual wielding, so I don't think DPS would go up. <clears throat> no, it doesn't. And I had one more jewel here. DPS still goes down. I get a little bit more life. Nah, I don't think so, though. Do I have another jewel socket? I don't. I plan on taking more jewel sockets, but I guess at this point, I haven't started. Okay. Cards, cards here. <clears throat> So you want me to revive four corpses? I don't know if uh, slower projectiles is actually better. It doesn't feel better. I don't know. Maybe I'll swap it back out for something else. Like penetration, maybe? I guess it still does a quite a bit of damage. Return them to Katarina? That's pretty far to walk to return a bunch of corpses. I don't know how I feel about this. At the same time, I don't want these corpses to like follow me around. Alright, I guess we'll do it. Where is she? You know what? It's not too bad. <clears throat> Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, I'm missing one. Sorry, I had to take a brief pause and walk away for something. But now I am now back. This is the problem, you know, with playing... Uh... Sorry, I punched my microphone just now. Playing, playing at home when there are people around. You know, you got errands to run. I had to walk away for a second. I'm, I'm still not used to this. You know, for the longest time, I was just living on my own. I mean, I had roommates, but they never asked me to do stuff. But now I have a fiance. And, uh, you know, there's just a lot of stuff to do. Um, so, hopefully, there won't be anything else that we have to deal with. Let's get back to killing Brutus, shall we? It feels nostalgic doing all of this over again. I mean, you would think that after so many leagues, um, you know, you, you would get used to it or something, but uh, to be honest, I still feel... It, it feels fun to re-level every time. Um, it's still something that I st still, you know, thoroughly enjoy. And then I, f I feel fortunate for that because I think for a lot of people, after a couple times through the game, they're just like, I don't, I don't want to do this again. But for me, it's, it feels like a completely new experience. You're playing a new build. Hopefully you're using new skills or different skills to level up. And I think that's the biggest thing, right? Just got to switch it up every time. Instead of, you know, trying to go take the most optimal skill to level up, and in doing so, I guess it does become quite repetitive. Not you! For my life and my work, I shall not suffer this humiliation again! Alright, let's drop the cremates. And hopefully I can just... tank him? I don't know about tanking, but... I did quite a bit of damage to him. This is the part where having... Um... Mine over matter might be a bit of a detriment to us, uh, simply due to the fact that, you know, we're taking all this damage, and because I'm taking so much damage, I can't cast my skills. Alright, let's just run around him. I think he's dead. Oh, unless he does that. Oh, no, no, there we go, we got him. Okay, so now we can just TP back home. Because I think we automatically get Prisoner's Gate, we do. And uh, Tarclay. Hello. Hello. Good work. I like this new reward window, it's pretty nice. Um, I probably need... I don't think I need red gems. Um... To be honest, I don't need any gems at all. I mean, Desecrate is good. Volatile Dead is in a good spot. Cremation's four sockets. Shield charges four sockets. <sighs> Let's just take Armor Energy Shield. Farewell. What did I press? H? K? K. Welcome. And then we'll just sell all this stuff. I don't. I really don't think I need anything right now. This is a pretty good dagger, though. Increased physical damage, critical strike oh, wow. chance. It would be useful if I wanted to play like a spectral throw cast on crit or something, right? It would be interesting. Alright, so we need we have a, a lot of quests that we gotta do. Um, let's go to Prisoner Skate. And try and get her done. So yeah, I mean, the Brutus fight went pretty well. I don't think I'm too happy about having slower projectiles. I thought I would like it more. But um, I guess the biggest problem with slower projectiles is, yes, it does work with bosses. But for rares, it doesn't work as well as I would like. Um, mostly due to the fact that it takes longer for the projectiles to land. Which basically means I have to wait longer before the rare dies. Like in this, look, he hasn't taken damage yet until now. So I'm actually thinking. What am I thinking? 
I'm actually thinking I want to swap it out. I do want... Okay, okay. So here's the thing. I do want fire penetration for cremation. I feel like it's a big deal, especially prior to us getting inevitable, uh, inevitable judgment because elemental re resistance penetration is just really good. Either way, I'm definitely removing slower projectiles. I still think I should have... Like, this thing right here is basically a 4-socket with a level 10 fire pen. And you get additional damage. So it's like a 4.5 socket. Or 4.5 link. Um, more damage should definitely go to Volatile Dead. So I do not think that I'm going to put Cremation in here. But... I do think it might be a good idea to get a fire pen or something in here. If not fire pen, at least um, some damage. Control destruction, concentrated effect, 46% more damage. Yeah, let's do that. At least that. So I can get some more damage on cremation. That that makes me a little bit happier. I think I like that more. Ooh, an arcanist. I hear there's actually not too much point in rolling uh Yeah, rolling rare for Arcanist, so it's probably better to just get extra items and just run it. Because I don't have that many Chaoses. If I elk it once and I get something bad, um, I, I won't be able to re-roll it. So let's just transmute it, get those six extra currency items, and be happy and go on our merry way, right? So it seems there are two Abyss... Or Abysses in this zone, because I'm quite sure I saw one further to the north. So that's going to be nice. We're going to get quite a little... Quite a bit of loot in this zone, I think. So yeah, I mean, if I don't have to, I, I guess I don't... Sorry, what I mean to say is I don't have to use cremation right now. Because they're dying fast enough to volatile dead that I don't really need to think about it. But I think there's going to come a point where... Or I hope there comes a point where I use Cremation over Volatile Dead, because I really like that skill. The only problem with it is, you know, like everyone has been saying, it's not great at AoE clearing. Volatile Dead is so much better for that. But it's just the single target is so nice, I don't want to, I don't ever want to get rid of it. And maybe later on in the game, we have no, we won't have a choice. But I can't imagine what other, tr like, gem sockets I would need for my Volatile Dead. I heard that um, Unearthed Totems with GMP is actually pretty good. And I guess with faster casting or something. So that would be a four or uh, four link right there. But like I'm not, I only have a two link on my boots. Um, so I can definitely get away with um, adding Unearthed Totems, I suppose. I don't know, I'm going to have to see. Okay, this is one of those situations where maybe cremation isn't the worst. But it's nice. Right now, Volatile Dead is actually... It, it was starting to taper off a little bit um, as we were getting into Act 6. But now that we've upgraded our items, I think it's back up to a really good spot. Okay. I am no beast of burden. Hopefully we'll be able to finish Act 6 today. <clears throat> we have to fight the Brank. I mean, I don't think that's too far away if we just go fast enough. We're going to need a little bit more moose speed, a little bit more attack speed, though. OK. 
Okay, so we need to kill Aberath. Should not be a problem. We just kind of stand in the middle and let Cremation go ham on him. And it's good. We have like a really good amount of uh, mana regen right now. How much is it? 45.5 per second. Yeah, that's a good, good amount. Okay, so for this area, like you have to run. So just drop a bunch of Volatile Deads and then run for it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, here we go. So far, so good, right? And he's dead. I think. I am no beast of burden. Bam! Take his soul. All right, that that wasn't as cool as I thought it would be. But we did get soul of Aberath. Reduce fire damage taken while moving. Reduce effect of burning ground to you. I think I actually prefer that over soul of Tukohama. There we go. And uh, let's go back and sell some of our stuff. We need to turn into quest anyways, so. I mean, I don't I don't want to toot my own horn here, but I think, you know, throughout this whole run that we've done from Act 1 to 6, we've been doing really well. I'm actually really satisfied with how how we've been playing so far. I, I I don't attribute it to skill per se. Um, I think if anything, we've just we happen to get lucky this league and get some good leveling skills. Um, I actually think Volatile Dead is pretty insane for leveling purposes. The the fireballs are AOE. They home in on enemies, so it's like a it's like if if uh it's like if fireball became or if raging summon raging spirits like exploded once they touched something you know what are you doing god drag you to damnation if you're gonna stand by and let this happen to me to us because believe me the brian king has far greater appetites than one nothing of a girl from Orius. it doesn't matter what he'll do to me now it's what he'll do to Ray Clast. Yet there's hope. There's always Okay, so we need to go to Mervil's cave. How, how do we do that? I can't. I don't remember how to do that. I guess. I guess there's an area around here that I'm supposed to go to. Maybe I missed it. Oh, there's something there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, we have to walk through Act 2. I remember now. <clears throat> okay, just this way then. This is it, right? Yeah, this ha that has to be it. You follow the road, and it takes you to Act 2. Or the former Act 2, Western Forest. Which is technically Act 6 here. <clears throat> and the Black Guards have become zombies. Alright. Awesome. I never really paid attention to the stuff that happened, you know, when we came around to Western Forest once again, but I guess things are quite different. All right, let's keep going. Okay, we're not doing enough damage is what I wanted to say. But this guy's dead, so maybe we are.
No, no, we're not. Or, yes. I don't know anymore, man. Every time I think I'm not doing enough damage, the, the rare dies. I guess he's just... Maybe I've been spoiled this whole time. I've been so used to them dying so quickly. Defeat the puppet mistress. Okay, well, let's get the waypoint first. And I'm really looking forward to leveling up, actually. Because then we're going to get inspiration. <clears throat> Which is like a huge buff to our character, I think. We're currently at 334 mana. You add 40, or 334 unreserved. You add 40 and another 50%. It's going to be a big deal, I think. Okay, this takes me to the riverways. That's not... That is where I need to go. Okay. <clears throat> and Puppet, Puppet Mistress is to the north, whereas the other one is to the east. Alright, I got it. I got it. Oh man, I love these areas. All these slow monkeys. Don't have much HP, but they die so fast and give like a ridiculous amount of a uh, EXP. Okay, I got the waypoint. All right, onto the wetlands. I'm at ninety nine percent EXP, so I'm about to level. That is great. Awesome. So let's take that. Bam! I'm now at 497 unreserved. That's amazing. <clears throat> I mean, three levels ago, we were at like 250. Now we're at 497. Doubling my, my unreserved mana in three levels? Like, thank you. Yes, please. Now I just need to... Oh, my mana regen also goes up from 45 to 55. Okay, that's looking good now. That that looks really good. I mean, it could be better. Okay, please don't close up. I hate it when they move, I can't hit them with cremation. Maybe this is why people don't run it. <clears throat> Alright, let's keep moving. Find this puppet mistress. Wherever she is. Oh, yes please. Chromatics are still really useful for me right now. I mean, I think if I were in a map, I might not be picking up those items, but right now I only have like 20 to 30 chromatics, so... Every piece of currency counts for something. Oh, here's the puppet. Or the puppet mistress. At least she should be here. No? Oh. The heck? Okay, where do I go then? Whatever, let's go try out the abyss then. Right? Ok, 
Okay, so far so good. I am no beast of Vardan. And another trove opened. At this point, I'm only interested in the jewels. Nothing else, really. Tarkley asks you to defeat the puppet mistress, but where is the puppet mistress? I'm very curious at this point. And stumped. Actually, I think she was in a side zone. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> the spawning ground. Oh, it was one of those gods. Right? Yeah. Okay. And in this one, just gotta get all the nests. And then there's one more here. Alright, that one's defeated. This one's gone too. And then, uh, okay. My mana is spent. Wait, where'd she go? Awesome. I am no beast of burden. You're a Slatha. I think that's another minor god. Either way, it doesn't matter too much. Sell this stuff. 10% move speed. No thanks. Okay. <clears throat> Back to the wetlands. And Sin, he flies in, takes a soul. Yes, yes. Give me, give me, give me my power. So Rislata, life charges gain three check set three charges every three seconds if you haven't used. That's a tongue twister, man. Life flasks gain three charges every three seconds if you haven't used a life flask recently. Well, I don't think I need that. I still prefer the burning ground. And then we have to go over to the riverways. But the riverways won't take us. Oh, no, no. We have to go to the southern forest. I can't remember where I'm supposed to go. So it's this way. Because the forest encampment is barricaded right now. So we can't get close to it. I remember now. And yet, somehow, I'm not at the right place. What's going on? This way, maybe? That looks like an exit to me. Southern Forest, there we go. <clears throat> Let's pick up the waypoint and then we can call it an episode. I was hoping to finish this act, but it seems to be quite quite a lot bigger than I had originally remembered. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm more used to clearing Act 1 to 5 and Act 6 is still like still a foreign concept to me, but 
I feel like we've been taking quite a long time here. And the mobs aren't necessarily that much stronger. Either way, my skills are still doing, are, are still doing really well. So I suppose there's really nothing I have to complain about. I'm just complaining for the sake of complaining. It's like something to do, you know. Hollow Skull, the willing host. Alright. Uh, maybe this way. Or maybe not. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Can't believe it. I thought I knew this area. You've changed, man. Okay, I think this is it. Waypoint. Waypoint time. Waypoint me, baby. Come on. Just do it. Oh, let's try and push it go somewhere, though. That's almost just as important. Wait, where did ghost go? I think it died. I didn't even realize. It just kind of blinked and it was gone. And I think that was a rogue exile actually. Okay. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Here's the waypoint. Let's take it, go back to town. That was a pretty good session, I think. Not too much loot, but at the same time, we've you know done a little bit of shopping. So we've upgraded to a point where I guess not too many items are considered upgrades. This is definitely an upgrade. I lose a little bit of life, but I get a lot of uh, lightning resistance. So that's good. 25% move speed. That's also good. Okay, well, I take back <laughs> I take back everything I've said in the last uh, two minutes, I suppose. We have found ourselves an upgrade. What about this one? 12 to all res. Whereas the other one is 13 to... 13, 13, 19. The other one is 15, 15. Okay, let's take a look here. Let's take a look-see. So this would give us 72, 71, 49, whereas the other one would bring us to 74, 58, 45. I mean, I like this better, I think. And then I tack on the boots. I'm going to need to put clarity somewhere. And are these armor evasion? Let's try and four socket it not necessarily for Link. <clears throat> I guess I could roll this. No, no, no. Yeah. Warlord's Mark. Blasphemy. Uh, Summon Ice Golem. Goes here. Here comes the Helmet. I do kind of need one blue socket, if I could get that. But I only have one chromatic orb. I, I don't know, man. How do I get one blue? I guess I roll this. Could, 
Oh my god. That's awful. Greetings. I need a chrome. Right now. Okay. I sell it. I need one blue, man. Or two blues. Okay, that's better. Clarity. Warlord's Mark. Blasphemy. That's actually perfect. Summon Ice Golem. Absolutely perfect. And I have a four socket over there that I can use however I want. My resistances are now 63, 71, 75, which is still better than how it was before. And uh, I think I'm a pretty happy camper. Pretty sure that's the end of this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. If you did, as always, you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more updates in the future. Otherwise, keep in touch. And I'll see you guys next time.